Hey girl, send out here coming at you with a very unpopular opinion. No, I do not recommend keratin treatments, especially for black hair. Anybody else? You want to do it? That's fine. But in my opinion, that I don't think it's just my opinion. There is a reason why keratin treatments never took off in black salons. It's been around for a long time. Trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be. So keep your chin up. So your crown doesn't fall. Remember your royalty. Now, before we get started, you already know, subscribe here to my channel and then click on that bell notification so you're never, ever missing out when I post another video. Today, we're going to talk about keratin treatments one-on-one, okay? Keratin treatments are not new. There is a reason it never took off in black salons. It's not recommended by most of us for very, very good reasons. And today, I'm going to tell you those reasons in detail. Before we can talk about if whether or not you should use a keratin treatment, maybe we should talk about the hair shaft first. So just to let you know, the body naturally makes the protein keratin. It's what your hair, skin, and nails are made of. The cuticle is made of dead skin cells. Okay, guess what? Those dead skin cells are dead keratin cells. So that whole myth, oh, the hair shaft is dead, it's not alive. People are just confused, all right? There are so many different layers to the science of hair, but when you understand all of them, you can piece things together easily, all right? So the cuticle is composed of dead keratin cells, and these cells have different porosity levels. And porosity simply means these dead cells ability to lift and lower to absorb or release moisture or to absorb or release toxins from the hair shaft and the scalp. All right. And when I say the scalp, the scalp release toxins that flow down the hair shaft and it's the cuticle's job and making sure that it releases the toxins that it doesn't need and hold on to the moisture and the different botanicals and things of that nature that it does. All right. So when you have high porosity hair, these skin cells, these dead keratin cells, I'm sorry, they are all open. OK, they're receiving everything. If you have medium to normal, they open when they're supposed to and they close when they're supposed to. Right. It's like normal. And then if you have low porosity hair, these dead keratin cells are very, very tight and shut. Do you see how it has all of these different grooves and stuff where you can like, it looks like you could slit stuff under them. Well, those are the different layers that lift up. And these layers, if you get in between those different layers that you see on the hair shaft that make up the cuticle, those are the slits that products and chemicals and things of that nature and, and toxins go through. So so it is your job to make sure that this cuticle layer is protected, not sealed, not locked. You do not want to lock down all of these layers because then the hair shaft can't do what it is supposed to do. So what is a keratin treatment? Now that you know that your hair is keratin, you understand that when they say keratin treatment, they're not putting keratin in the hair. What they're actually doing is treating those dead skin cells aka the cuticle a keratin treatment is a cuticle treatment and it does not go past that cuticle layer unless it's done wrong or unless it's damaged or over processed in some way and we'll start talking about that in a second Keratin smooth cells that overlap to form hair strands, which means more man manageability for the hair and less frizz. This makes for hair that dries with little frizz and has a glossy, healthy look to it. Keratin can also reduce the look of split ends, temporarily bonding the hair back together. It's a temporary coating. 
a temporary coating. This is not a long lasting thing. Please know that whenever um, the PDF goes out, all of the like little things that need to be corrected will be corrected. I just had to make this real quick for y'all so we can get to this. All right. But I need you to know that it is a temporary fix. Keratin treatments are not going past the cuticle to go inside of the hair shaft to repair or rebuild anything. It is a protective coating, a sealant, a temporary sealant. It is going to temporarily fill holes within the hair shaft. Again, the hair shaft is keratin. So, you don't have to take my word for it. Go ahead and look it up on Wikipedia and you can figure it out for yourself. These keratin treatments are derived from wool, feathers, horns, and different like animals and stuff like that because it's protein. They're treating and putting a protective layer on top of the hair shaft which is already protein okay so i want y'all to remember that nothing is happening past the cuticle layer the cortex of the hair shaft is where the organs are so this is where where it's controlling you know how curly your hair is the color of your hair all of that stuff is within the cuticle so let me tell you something a lot of people that are getting keratin treatments are like oh it's making my hair smoother it's making my curls more relaxed Relax, baby if your curl pattern changes after you get a keratin treatment your cuticle is being broken down and your cuticle layer is now weakened and it's open that is why protein is able to leave if your curls are leaving it's because protein that lives in the cortex is leaving there is nothing within the formulation of this to remove protein which means that it's breaking down that cuticle layer. It's breaking down that protective barrier that is keeping the protein that lives in the cortex from escaping. But once you're constantly putting this layer on the hair shaft, making the molecular weight of your hair shaft heavier, meaning just making your hair heavier with this sealant, then you're going to cause the hair shaft to snap and break. So peep game, right? Like I've been a licensed cosmetologist since 09, either. Yeah. Since 2009 keratin treatments were out before I was in cosmetology school. They are not new, but the first time around they got discontinued because the majority of them, all of them had formaldehyde in it, but peep game. When they first came out and I was fresh out of cosmetology school, I, I spent like $200 to go to a class. $200 to go to a class. And then it was like a smoke cloud. And the reason that it would be a smoke cloud is because literally all a keratin treatment is, is they take it and they put that layer on top of the hair shaft and they heat it up. And when they heat it up, it acts as a protective coating as a sealant over the hair shaft temporarily. Okay. And now all of these different chemicals in relaxers, perms, uh, Brazilian straightening, which is what we're talking about now. Brazilian straightening is the same thing. Brazilian straightening, keratin treatment, same thing. Okay. So when we're talking about all of these different smoothing treatments, most of the chemical complexes are exactly the same. They're exactly the same, right? But sometimes they'll take out some things, add a couple of other things, but other examples of formaldehyde are right here. And these chemicals are extremely effective sealers. They're sealants. They are ingredients that keep the hair smooth and frizz free it's a coat on the cuticle it is not repairing the cuticle it is not loving on the cuticle it's not adding any extra bonds it's not repairing the bonds it is not repairing the cuticle it is a sealant and nothing else and if you pay attention they're not going to tell you that is going to correct your hair they're going to tell you you can only use this shampoo and conditioner on the hair and you have to come back in this amount of time why is that the reason that you can't use a, a shampoo that has sulfates in them is because a keratin treatment is layers and layers of a protective barrier cooked 
on top of the cuticle so if you use a regular shampoo a regular shampoo is formulated to cleanse the cuticle it's formulated to cleanse the cuticle. So if you use a regular shampoo, it's not that regular shampoos are so damaging. Regular shampoos are going to remove the keratin. The artificial keratin is going to remove the formaldehyde. It's going to remove this treatment. I'm sorry, not the keratin, this keratin treatment. Not it's going to damage your hair. It's going to unplug your hair shaft because that's all a keratin treatment is. I paid $250 to learn that all the keratin treatment is going to do is fill any holes, any gaps, any cuts in the hair shaft temporarily. And the way that we get our clients to keep coming back over and over and over again is getting them addicted to the feeling of the holes and the gaps being healed temporarily. But I'm not supposed to let you know the deep, like the real, real science of it, that this keratin treatment that I'm giving you is never going to fix your hair. It will never fix your hair. It's just going to put band-aids on it. Now, if you're going to a great cosmetologist that maybe has a plan for your hair, meaning maybe her 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 entire motive is like okay we're going to use this keratin treatment and by us using this keratin treatment to fill these holes i'm changing her other hair regimen around i'm just reaching to make excuses for a black woman that decides to service her clients with keratin treatments but for me there's no reason for you to use them so once formaldehyde was exited out and all of the brazilian blowout treatments that aka keratin treatments that had formaldehyde in them they were all discontinued and it was now illegal to use them because they were causing cancer because of all of the smoke that the stylist were inhaling it wasn't even um discontinued for clients it was discontinued because what it was causing for the actual stylist because there was so much smoke being released whenever we did the um brazilian blowouts before or the keratin treatments because <laughs> we were not calling them keratin treatments we, they were brazilian blowouts they just changed the name because they had to rebrand it once they all got discontinued for having formaldehyde in it all right so once they all got discontinued they did replace the formaldehyde excuse me they replaced the formaldehyde with cysteine Ugh, i can't get it out with cysteine now this is a non-essential amino acid that is formed within the body and this amino acid is making protein within the body so what they do they take this uh uh Mm, an artificial form of this amino acid and they make a product out of it they made a product out of it so this is known known to be a sealant but let's get into it the key component of this is the keratin protein and its ability to form the sulfide bridges that end up giving your hair strength. That's all. It builds temporary bridges. A temporary bridge. So think about it. If if a street goes out and normally you could just drive down the street and you get there in five minutes, right? That street goes out. So what do they do? They're going to build a bridge really quick. A temporary bridge. This bridge is not going to be here for, for indefinitely. This bridge is just here so everybody can still get to work. But eventually they have to come back and fix that street. Because sooner or later that bridge is going to give out. That bridge will not last forever. It may last for a while, but it won't last forever. That's the same exact thing that a keratin treatment is doing to your hair. It is creating a temporary bridge between your breakage and your healthy hair. Again, this is something that they use as a artificial version of this amino acid that acts as a smoothing treatment that is going to create a bridge keeping the cuticle flat and sealed temporarily you guys know i cannot stand the term sealed sealing the ends 
sealing the hair and I've always disliked it. This is why I never use keratin treatments on my clients because I'm not in it for that. I'm, I don't I don't like the term seal, sealing a cuticle, sealing the hair shaft. It doesn't sound right. Knowing what I know about the hair shaft, knowing what I know about the porosity of your hair and how important it is, you, the hair shaft should never be sealed. So any process or any chemical service that I'm going to do to my client that requires me to seal their cuticle is something that I will never offer. And this is why the majority of black salons never offer keratin treatments. Not because black stylists were not mentally equipped to do it. Not because we didn't know how to do it. Not because we didn't know better. Because we knew we knew what would happen long term. But now today in 2022, y'all are letting all of these older people who know that y'all don't know the game play y'all. Just like Gina Curl. You got a bunch of black women paying $1,200 for a Jerry Curl that costs $45. And now today in 2022, all these black girls are getting keratin treatments as if it is something new when they were doing keratin treatments and getting them discontinued, reformulating, getting them discontinued again, reformulating them, getting it discontinued again ever since 2009 and before. I'm just more, I'm, I'm most current in 09 because that's when I got my license. But this is not new. Y'all need to learn the science of hair because y'all don't know the science of hair. Y'all are self-inflicted victims. It's so easy for people to play y'all. If I was manipulative, I would be making so much bread off of y'all because y'all don't know the science of hair. And as long as it sounds good, you're going to go. You're going to go with it. Stop going with everything. So I know a lot of you have done it because so many people have asked me about it, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. But um, honestly, I don't think anyone should get it. I have high porosity hair. I've never um, had a keratin treatment. I never will have a keratin treatment. I never gave any of my clients keratin treatments. You will not find any videos of keratin treatments anywhere on my channel. Nowhere, boo. Nowhere. Okay. I don't recommend anyone to get it. But if there is any one person who should never get it, it's somebody with low porosity hair. A keratin treatment is literally cooking artificial protein into the hair shaft to act as a protective barrier. So somebody with low porosity hair, your issue is your cuticle is really, really tight, right? Tighter than you want it to be. And it's hard for you to open it to get moisture in or to let certain things out, right? All a protein treatment is meant to do, whether we're talking about keratin treatments, regular protein treatments, all a protein treatment is meant to do is strengthen the cuticle is to normalize your porosity so you find a cosmetologist to tell you your porosity don't matter you better get your shit and run as fast as you possibly can because this is a woman who knows nothing about the science of hair so she should not be touching yours <laughs> your porosity is everything your porosity is number one and when you use keratin treatment you weaken your porosity if you have low porosity hair it is something that you never do because low porosity hair has a cuticle that's already tight and the only purpose of a keratin treatment is to seal the cuticle is to act as a sealant on the cuticle the only purpose of a keratin treatment is to relax frizz to smooth the cuticle you guys can research it for yourself i popped up a couple of it a couple of things on the screen you guys will be able to download this ebook there will be no you know little misspelled nothing in it but you guys will be able to get your hands on it so you can figure out the things that you should and shouldn't do and how you can repair it but protein overload is something that is happening i see so many people like oh yeah i'll get I know a keratin treatment isn't going to make my hair straighter, but it will it will relax it a little bit. No, it's not the same thing. When you get a relaxer and the curls are and the curls are taken away, we're not damaging the cuticle. 
And let me tell you why. The formulation of a relaxer is meant to do two things. First, you base the scalp properly and you prepare the hair shaft properly. Once you prepare the hair shaft, what the relaxer is formulated to do is calmly lift the cuticle. So whether you pick a high, medium, or low is going to be dependent on your porosity, your density, and things of that nature. But the relaxer is going to lift the cuticle. You have high porosity hair, then you're going to need a relaxer that is like lower, mild, or medium. Unless you have, you know, thicker density, unless your hair is of a wider diameter. And that's a whole nother story. OK, but once you get the relaxer, the relaxer is lifting the cuticle so that the other chemicals can go in and then remove a little bit of that protein, depending on how long you leave it on. Then once you rinse it out and shampoo it out, then you put a pH shampoo, you shampoo with a pH balancing shampoo. What does this do? This pH balancing shampoo is then going to normalize everything. Even though now you've removed bonds, the pH balancing shampoo, what it's doing is going in there and getting those bonds in it, in their new formation. Because before there were a certain amount of bonds. Once you get a relaxer, you remove some of those bonds. And now all of the bonds in your hair are like, uh-uh, we're Craig. We're Craig and Brittany. Uh-uh. So they just replace Craig and Brittany. The pH balancing shampoo is going in there to replace Craig and Brittany, all right? And then the hair is back to normal, but peep game. When you get a keratin treatment, there's no normalization. No, that, that's not what's going on. You're just putting a protective barrier on top over and over and over again. When they're telling you you can only shampoo with a certain type of shampoo, it is not because shampoos with sulfates are damaging no that's not why it is because a keratin treatment is a band-aid and it's like filling potholes getting a keratin treatment is the equivalent to you filling potholes on the street you're just filling in holes temporarily that is it and if there's too much of a barrier put on if there are too many layers put on let's say you don't have any holes that need to be filled and you just putting on a keratin treatment you're just getting a keratin treatment just because that's what everybody else is doing online then you are a person that will have really damaged hair and you're going to have serious serious protein overload especially if you are a person that has low porosity hair that's getting a keratin treatment for no reason you're literally putting a protective coating and a sealant locking down the cuticle that is already locked down and hard to open this is why you'll see so many people that are like oh my god like my hair is breaking off so much i don't know why after my keratin treatment i don't know what i'm doing wrong you what you did wrong was get the keratin treatment in the first place. I need y'all to start doing y'all research. When y'all see a new fad pop up on YouTube, go on Google and do your research. Say, when did this come out? Y'all don't do that. Y'all see something and y'all just jump straight into it. Like, oh, I'm about to put all my money in these. Don't do that. None of the things that they've brought up are new. I'm waiting for a new brand to come out. I'm waiting for something new, some type of new technique. I am here for it. I have no problem with new chemical services, with new things that you can do for the hair. But y'all, I haven't seen anything new. These last couple of years, I've literally been sitting back watching y'all get manipulated by e like every five minutes. Every time one form of manipulation dies out, a new one comes out and everybody jumps on it. But if we just know the basics of science, we're not going to constantly be played over and over again. I love y'all. I really hope that this ain't made nobody feel away. But no, I do not recommend keratin treatments for anyone for that matter i mean if you're a person who has really frizzy hair and i'm just gonna be real i don't want to miss words when mm, when brazilian blowout first came out it was not formulated by or for black women it was formulated and promoted by and for women with straight frizzy hair 
Now, I want y'all to remember this. It's filling holes temporarily, right? So, and it, it can be shampooed out. Character treatments can be shampooed out. If, you, if you're using clarifying shampoo, you can remove the keratin treatment over, like, over time. You can because it's just a coating on top of the hair shaft. Remember this. The women that it was formulated for originally are washing their hair every day, every other day. So is that protective barrier going to be doing harm on their hair? No. Because it, was, it wasn't formulated for black women. Black women don't have to wash their hair every day. I'm not saying that, oh, it's not formulated for black women because you black. It's not for you. They don't like you. No, I'm talking about the science. Black women don't wash their hair every day. So it's not for you. Because you, if you wash your hair every day, you don't really have to worry about the buildup and... And the protein overload and it just sitting there and the molecular weight making your hair shaft weak and weak and weak because you're washing your hair every day. The people that it's made for. It's not made for you, sis. It's not. It is only to control frizz. And how many of y'all are really spending $400, $800 to control some frizz? You can get some serum, boo, to control some frizz. You do not need to get a keratin treatment. Keratin treatments are not for black women. I'm sorry. And if you feel a way about me saying it, then I don't know if you mad, scratch your butt and get glad. I don't know. That's what my daddy used to say. I really, really hope that this makes sense. If you would like to get your hand on this PDF once it's edited, then make sure you check the links in the description box below. And once you do it, once you do it, once you get it, make sure you click on that button that says click here because then you will get my free, well, my free, my um, Amazon list for all of my recommendations for you doing a scalp detox and all of that because there is a way that you can remove the keratin on top of the hair shaft because it is a sealant. If you are a woman who has a keratin treatment, it is not permanent. You can remove it with carrot with um clarifying shampoo, which is why they tell you to only use a certain type of shampoo because that shampoo and conditioner that you use after you have a keratin treatment is formulated to reinforce that layer that is on the hair shaft. When you get a keratin treatment, you are not treating anything. All you're doing is putting a protective layer and filling potholes within the hair shaft. Sorry. Trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be. So keep your chin up so your crown doesn't fall, remember? Remember?